Now, uh, we're a few weeks into this whole coronavirus lockdown. Everybody's doing the social distancing thing. They're quarantining their self. And one thing that we're really great at as a society is uh, WebMDing ourselves. Like, you know, just trying to diagnose what's wrong with us internally. Uh, case in point, one third of the legendary rap group, The Locks, Styles P, he took to uh, Instagram and he revealed, I almost died in January and I ain't never got the flu. And if I do, it's a day or two. In January, I was down for like a week and lost about eight pounds. I had the Rona. It had to be the Rona. He also revealed that, uh, you know, what helped him get, you know, better. He said he took a lot of black seed oil and he went on a juice tea guy, uh, diet and he got rest. And he's like, everybody should go for it. But um, it's a little adventurous. I do feel there's, there's a lot of correlations because when you look at the amount of people who have, like, mysteriously passed away from um, pneumonia, which is also, like, you know, a part of a byproduct of, you know, the whole coronavirus, you know, it's been taking a lot of people out. So there may be something to it. But once again, you can't self-diagnose and just be like, yeah, I had it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, but the key is, man, everybody that can hear the sound of my voice, you know, you got to take a lot of preventive measures because this ain't going to be the last time we hear about the coronavirus. It's going to probably get stronger as the years go by. There's going to be alternate versions of it. So we got to, like, fortify ourselves. Be sure you get a lot of exercise. Be sure you take in, like, vitamins, minerals. Black seed oil is really strong for warding off infections and stuff like that. And if you know about the Irish sea moss, you need to get on that, too. Just know how to prep it properly. I literally took a fistful of it, threw it in a smoothie, and my smoothie was crunchy hated it moving on another hip-hop news you know you heard of magic city mondays but uh shout out to little boosie and whatever the hell it is that he's doing uh if you went on his ig yesterday uh you know you got treated to you know some young ladies having takeout if you know what i mean wink wink nudge nudge um and <laughs> you know and this all started like a few days ago when he started doing like cash for flash i talked about it briefly yesterday on his ig but like the things that he'd be asking for and then sometimes the result he gets is comical take a listen about it in the house. I'm trying to show people a good time. Show your soul. I'm gonna cash out you, man. Hey, you ain't working. You ain't been working. You show your. <laughs> it's quarantine <laughs> day. Hi. Oh no. Kid. Where is that a kid? That's what I'm all I see is some baby teeth. Baby teeth. <laughs> Didn't I say that the other day? Like, what? How do you know that these girls are of age? And not saying that the baby was gonna post nothing. No. But L'Oreal, here's the here's the thing. Like it was actually an adult woman, like that jumped in the split screen, and then the kid showed up. Hi. <laughs> and he's like, oh hell no, man. <laughs> All I see is baby teeth. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't I don't think Commons fans would ever do that. You know, like certain artists, <laughs> like their fans. Like I don't think Talib Kweli fans doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at Lil Boosie's fans. I'm going to go on his IG Live and hang out like it's a real club. Last but not least, man, I was talking about how uh, Gucci Mane was looking to sign a rapper. Well, look like he found one. Uh, Atlanta rapper Ola Runt has found himself the ultimate co-sign from Gucci Mane. He's going to be on his brand new label. And, uh, you know, based off, I guess, what he was saying, like he threw a million dollars at him and uh, boom, he's out there, you know, getting to the bag. So big shout out to Ola Runt. And uh, I'm sure that won't be the last person he's on. Yeah, like I'm trying to think of, like the other artists that like stuck with Gucci and like got famous famous. I mean like Waka and Gucci was a thing, but then they split up and then I know like you know Nikki was with Gucci for a second. Only person that signed to Gucci is still out here winning is his wife. Just saying. Anyway, that's it for me for Southern Stories. So follow on Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud, H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K. We, we are the morning hustle.